Now let's add a layer to it. What happens when your account manager needs to escalate a ticket to their manager, right? Instead of doing a hallway conversation, which is not effective, instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a process for that. Now, a quick side note, I wanna show you an example of what an escalation looks like, because a lot of people do not do escalations and they're not clear on the purpose of them. Particularly smaller shops, when they wanna do an escalation, what they do is they have meetings and they bring in their team. I'll show you how we do it in the giant rocket shop rocket ship and then i'm going to show you how you can do it for free and auto task it's not as flexible and you can only do it at one layer but absolutely you can in implement a simple escalation that we do here in auto task it's built in it comes with your payment already right so in giant rocket ship one of the modules is an escalation module where you define your teams and then you stack your teams in an escalation so we would have a triage and then it would escalate through these teams. Now, what we do here is we can escalate AM tickets directly to the to an account management team. But, but in addition to that, we can escalate to a manager, correct? So let's go ahead and see what that looks like here in Autotask. The struggle with Autotask is it's not flexible enough to have multiple teams, um, nor can it figure out who's the first free person, but you can hard code a pretty reasonable solution. So if you remember, we call this business process too. This is not an assignment, this is an escalation process. So what we're gonna do is anytime a ticket is edited, Q is equal to account management, knowing we always define our status. Now what's nice here is status is a key part of our process. So we're not gonna waste the field here. This is one of the most underused conditions change to escalate. So when a ticket is changed to the status of escalate by an account manager in that queue, what we are going to do is change the primary resource to be, you can either do it hard code it to a sales manager or to the queue owner. This is a little bit more flexible, but honestly, not many people assign queue owners. Um, so let's just assign it to the big boss. So this rule simply says, hey, I've escalated this and um, it now goes to this person. If you want to track which tickets have been escalated, you would create a new UDF and then you would flag has been escalated here. And I'll show you how that works in a little bit. So look, we're stacking, we're stacking our business, our, our business processes and our workflow rules. And I did not name this correctly. It is in my example, S is zero, zero, 001. Notice I restore here, because I like to me layer these rules for this process. All right, we're stacking our rules. Now let's go back. Let's get a little bit more complex with this business process, right? Let's talk about 